It's January 9th. The weather, a bone-chilling negative 11 degrees Celsius with a high of negative 9. It's cloudy, rainy, and sunny with a chance of big moldy meatballs. The wind blows at a steady 10 kilometers per hour, more than enough to blow me over. The pressure, 103.69 kilopascals. Oh, and one more thing. It's Mother Goose's birthday. Now, usually I don't really bother celebrating other people's birthdays because that's time and money I could be spending on Aritzia and avocado. But it's my mom, so I guess I can make an exception just this one time. And also, you know, it's probably no secret that everybody loves Mother Goose more than they like me, so I thought it would be fun to celebrate this occasion with all of you as well. So, without further ado, here is Mother Goose's big special day. Sponsored by me. Mom, you better be paying me for this. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. It's January 9th, and I want to throw Mother Goose the worst birthday party of all time. Now, when I think of birthday, I think of many things. First of which is the cake. Now, like me, Mother Goose has a very big sweet tooth, which means that she'll go for anything sweet, and that bodes well for me because I'm pretty sure we've all been privy to my baking skills, and because I was the one who put myself in charge of all of this business, I've made the executive decision that Mother Goose wants an avocado cake. Now, I'm using the same recipe for avocado cake that I used on my 18th birthday, and that ended up going horribly wrong, so hopefully it works better this time, because I don't want to serve a cake that tastes like actual butthole. Anyways, so we're gonna go get the ingredients now. So we've got quite a couple things to pick up today, and part of the reason is because my mom is turning 56, and you best believe that I want 56 candles on my cake, so I'm gonna need a lot of cake real estate for all of my arsenal. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're already stock full of avocados at home, but let's be honest here. What's the problem with four more? So did you guys hear Justin Bieber's new song? You know, I'm not gonna hate on the guy, but I'm also gonna hate on the guy. The song is hot garbage, and it makes me so uncomfortable. Does it make anyone else like excessively uncomfortable too? This is a birthday video. Why am I talking about Justin Bieber? Okay, so I've had no luck in finding poppy seeds, like none at all, zero, zilch, nada. So I'm gonna use chia seeds. It soon became clear to me that I was in a domain not of my own. And as much as I wanted to convince myself that I was going in the right direction, I was still just a bumbling idiot in the baking section. What, is this even edible? How is Sparkles edible? Hello everybody. So my mom is out running errands right now, which is excellent because that gives me full reign to burn down the house. So now we're gonna bake the cake. What's a party without a cake? You gotta have those carbs. So yeah, let's begin. So I really don't have much time here, so we're gonna really have to work things out pretty quickly here if you know what I mean, my dudes. Where's my food processor? Okay, we're good. I really hope you can see what I'm doing, because I'm not going to refilm this. Okay, why don't we start by like setting out the avocado flesh? The last time I did this recipe, I used like five avocados because I got really overzealous, and I thought that the more avocado I put in, the better it would taste. Are you guys getting motion sickness yet? Whoa! I'm not going to lie, carrying this whole contraption on my head is pretty heavy. My friend showed me a meme that said that avocados were just Shrek's testicles, and I feel disgusted. Okay, we've wasted too much time already. I have to get measuring these things out. Yes. This is what I wake up for every single day. Ah! No! <laughs> Ew! Uh-oh. I think I didn't buy enough avocado. Good thing there's more. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what? How did this happen? Oh, no. How does it taste? Wait. Get off. What? You know what? This video, this video is going to be one for the books. Great, so now that we have this pile of green vomit, we're going to blend the crap out of it. How am I... This is a really bad idea. Oh wait, I forgot to... <sighs> what will I ever do now? Oh god, this is already a bloodbath. I really should have just stayed home today, you know? Why don't we try this again and uh, think things through? Use a little bit of that common sense you got in your noggin? Ah! I totally agree. This is exactly what should be done. This is exactly how things should be carried out. With the looming threat of World War III, you know, we really, we really don't have time to just sit around and play games. This is the sound that greets you at the gates of hell. So there's uh, 450 grams of cocaine. This is getting really thick. I don't know if you can tell the consistency of that. Like, wowie, okay. <laughs> That's 
pretty good. Oh, wait, I can just do this. <gasps> Whoa! I don't like this. I don't like how this is looking, dudes. Wait, I have an idea. It's a bad one, but it's still an idea. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Now's the time that you give me a standing ovulation. You know, I read somewhere that the calories you ingest while baking don't count. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part two of Baking with Joanna. You know, we're going, oh, darn it. You know, we're going for enough lemon here. How does that happen again? The oven has literally been preheating for like, the past hour. I'm really sorry for the gas bill this month, mom and dad. So I started watching The Witcher on Netflix. I'm four episodes in and I've never been more confused. Where am I going with this? Ew, ew, ew. I'm taking this off, I'm sorry. I need a break from you people. So thankfully for both my sanity and yours, the only thing left to do now is add six eggs. This also marks the point where I can no longer eat the batter raw. Can you tell that I'm exhausted by this? Can you tell that I wanna go to bed, even though it's only 4 p.m. How many eggs have I cracked already? I've lost count. You know what could make this worse? If I deleted the footage? Well, dinner served. So now we only have baking powder and baking soda and poppy seeds. Who's gonna eat all this after? Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna finish this in like one night. The one thing I've uh, realized ever since I started university is that I can never underestimate the amount of food I am capable of eating. Before you know it, I've eaten my entire pantry and I don't even have a pantry. So remember how I said that I needed as much cake real estate as possible? So I went out and bought the two biggest tins I could find. Hopefully we cause a couple earthquakes, if you know what I mean. I'm so sorry. Whoa, I've come up with an amazing technique. Look at this. Have you barfed through the screen yet? You know what I realized the other day? I'm gonna be alive in 2100, if I play my cards right, that is. I wonder if YouTube is still gonna exist then. I hope it doesn't because then my grandchildren won't see all of this. Oh my God. I'm done. So those cakes went into the oven. I mean, what, did you think I was gonna bake them at room temperature? Are you mad? But it was then time to switch gears a little bit. It was time for me to pick out a gift for my mom. Now, luckily for me, I already had a plan, so I didn't really have to stress too much about what to get her. My mom has not been able to shut up about Chanel tweed suits for the past, I'd say two months. So I thought, hey, why not get her one for her birthday? Sure, it's a designer piece of clothing, but at the end of the day, it's just fabric. Like, it can't be that expensive. Tweed? What even is tweed? It sounds very uncomfortable. Is it made out of wood? I mean, I've seen those things on the runway. They're as stiff as a piece of cardboard. They can't be charging a fortune for that thing. They'd have no clientele. Like, how is Karl Lagerfeld going to get food on the table? Wait, no, I can't say that. A piece of cloth? Yeah, that's all this is. A glorified piece of cloth. I can wash my dishes with it. I'll clean the floors. Like, please, it can't be that expensive. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll sit out on the whole Chanel tweed suit thing. So what? People are dying of hunger. Grow up. But you know what I can do without dropping $12,000 on something that will probably be worn once? I can decorate the crap out of our house. So one of my favorite TV shows of all time is The Office. And you probably already know where I'm going with this. But remember that episode where Jim and Dwight are in charge of organizing Kelly's birthday party? And they throw up some balloons that match the carpet and wood and an it is your birthday sign? Well, I took a page out of that book and decided to do the same for my mom's birthday party. Now, Party City didn't have brown balloons, so I had to settle for black, gray, and gold ones, but it still got the message across. The goal was to make them look as droopy as possible, so I wasn't really allowed to fill them up with helium because that would make the event less depressing. So I was forced to use my own lung power. Yeah, 15 balloons in and I was starting to see stars. The only casualties experienced during this event were my nails. Those things need urgent care and several plastic surgeries procedures to get them back in shape. Now for the sign, hey, crucify me, I dare you, but my printer was out to lunch on that day, so I had to do my bootleg it is your birthday sign by myself. Did it look pathetic? Maybe, but it got the job did, so sue me. The cake has been in the oven for this entire time. Now by the grace of the ultimate baking god, strawberry shortcake, the cakes were only slightly golden on the top, so thankfully I hadn't burned them into a hunk of coal. Now all that was left was to light the thing up. I put 56 candles on my cake and lit that thing on fire. I present to you 
arson in E minor. I set fire to the rain. Watch it burn. And then, and then, and burning down the house. My house. And then, the ordinary. My house. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. There's the fire. <laughs> Yeah, good luck blowing that out. <laughs> Yay! It was time we feast. It was just past 8 p.m. And we still had room for dessert. I mean, there's always room for dessert. It fills in the cracks. Now it is with great sadness and guilt that my parents and I report that the cake it was hard to get down. Two bites in, we were nauseous with what I'm gonna call sugar poisoning. How did this happen? Well, here's the story of how Joanna got lost in the icing. A story in three parts. Once upon a time, the oven was on. It was a lovely winter evening. There were people in the house. The pig timer screamed. It was time to take the cake out of the oven. The baker, she was famished and ready to eat, but she had to make the icing first. The recipe called for one cup of low-fat cream cheese and three cups of icing sugar. Exactly the type of thing that will not clog your arteries like a shower drain full of hair. To mixing she got. It was looking great, and the cake was even better. The plan was to flip one on top of the other and smother everything in icing, so that's what she did. However, there was a monster lurking in the shadows. She forgot to add one cup of almond milk. It was supposed to dilute the mixture and make it taste like you weren't overdosing on sugar with every bite. The baker didn't realize that, though, and kept on spreading that crap all over the cake. Oh god, the horror. Jesus Christ, it was a bloodbath. The thing was a grotesque monstrosity. She served it to her prisoners later that evening, and to her dismay, they weren't able to get it down. She was irate. How dare her peasants disrespect her in such a manner. It was preposterous. Anyways, that's it. Happy birthday, Mother Goose.